Well, good afternoon and hello and welcome to Virtual Happy Hour here on my uh, Facebook uh, channel here, Facebook Live, actually making the, the, the camera shake. Hello, everybody, and welcome to a fun-filled Wednesday afternoon here as we will actually put the, uh, put the let's hide the open sign. How about that? Let's uh, go ahead and let you know you're on Virtual Happy Hour. Glad you're along. Glad to have you join us. The Virtual Green Room is open. Uh, I've got it open for you, so you want to check in, you can. Kevin's going to join me in a moment, check in with him up in the Twin Cities. Wherever you're watching us, good morning, good afternoon, uh, or good early evening to you, wherever you're watching us. And uh, also put up, as you see the link there on the screen there, where you can uh, click on and uh, join us live here. A uh, bit a busy day for me. I don't know how about you guys have been or how things have been for you, but it's uh uh, been a bit of a, a busy one, no doubt about it. Uh, uh, it Wednesday kind of seems like uh, my Monday of this current situation we're in. And, uh, and you're wondering what I'm doing here anyway, the first place, I rewind the clock. Uh, this is more for us to chat, uh, feel a little human uh, human contact the best we can here in a, uh, in, a, in a strange time we live in as we're all uh, – a lockdown for the most part worldwide, trying to uh, uh, flatten the curve is the is the, is the saying. There gonna be a lot of words going to come from this thing. You're going to be saying for years, flatten the curve will be one of them. And as we try to play flatten the curve here and get uh, get you guys uh, uh, get us all back to some semblance of normality. But uh, been a busy day. Had a great conversation with the T-Bone staff for about an hour and. 15 minutes, a few minutes ago, and uh, so I was running a little bit late here, but all good. I want to bring the uh, the uh, happy hour graphic down there, bring me in, and let's also do a little graphic change as well. We'll do this as well. Let's do this and apply that, and there we go. How about that? All right, Ryan, hi, good to see you as well. Uh, I wonder what you guys are doing. Well, what's going on? I mean, uh, uh, I got my cold one, and uh, uh, I don't know – any more than I knew Monday. I don't think any of us really know more than what we know that, you know, you watch the news. It's kind of all over the place, depending where you live. Uh, again, it's uh, yeah, go Quarantinos. I'm going to talk to, uh, to uh, you about that in just a moment, Kevin. I, uh, you know, we, I don't think we know any more than we do before. Um, there's the dog. And we'll get the camera here in a moment. Let the dog be on camera as well. But uh, uh, it's just that it's just the times we live in. I, I will say this off the top. I had a, a Facebook conversation with some of my mates in Australia. And I I, I, I will say this because uh, it kind of got my pulse up, not not in anger or anything. I wasn't upset with them. It was just more uh, just trying to say, look, you know, uh, in my lifetime, we've had 9-11s. We've had, uh, you know, we've had Gulf Wars. We've had war on terror. We've had uh, gas shortages. My parents went through the Vietnam era. You know, I kind of tail into that. I remember them coming home for the war, but you know, the gas uh, gas rationing of, of the 70s. And of course, my you know, my parents of the 60s, they went through it. And then you have our grandparents in World War II and their grandparents or their parents World War II. And in return, America has played. And we, we found a way to overcome despite whatever differences we had away, regardless of what I brought it. That's just kind of what I said. So uh, Cheryl, good to see you as well. Just had a great uh, conversation with the T-Bones faithful today at lunch. And uh, looking forward to chat with you guys. So let me know what's going on. Uh, uh, Ryan said, I burnt trash today at Old Rug. The highlight of his week. I don't know why that's not coming up. I don't know where those, uh, where those highlights aren't coming up. As I, uh, I will hear just a second. But I've got to put, got to put those up. But, uh, yeah, the highlight of, of the day, uh, I guess for us here at the house, would have been uh, – uh, just getting all of our, our, our stuff done and getting all of our various odds and ends done. And uh, somehow, some way, by the way, uh, speaking of the house, I'm going to go ahead and give us the uh, shot of the uh, of the uh, patio cam here. If I can pull it up for you. But you love having all this high technology here. Let's just see here. Here we go. How about patio cam? We can pull patio cam up. There we go. And we let's mute patio cam there. Uh, patio cam, there it is right there. Uh, kind of actually, I have the ability to kind of uh, give you a little bit of a, a shot here. Patio cam, and there we go, WD-40, and Max just kicking it there. And what's been a uh, 
dang near 90 degree day here. Kind of started overcast in the Metroplex, but it looks like Batman, really, the, where that angle was. But that's patio cam right there. So I uh, can uh, bring that back down for you guys. Uh, anyway, glad you're along. Let's chat. Let's talk. I'm wondering why my uh, chat is not coming up. If you want to join me in the virtual green room, you can. I got a, uh, a couple of things to get to as well. Just a moment. But uh, uh, what have we done? Well, uh, we've done a little cooking uh, this week. On Friday, I'm going to debut. I'm not sure where this is going to be, but uh, uh, you're going to see something along these lines here. Uh, this ooh and ah. There we go. Ooh, ah, ooh, ah. Uh, yes, I, I made this dish last night, a little salmon dish, and I uh, did my first ever uh, cooking video. And that is it right there. This is kind of a little preview of that right there. This is the ooh ah moment. There you go. I think I think, I think my camera kind of pan. This is cover video for my video for my my. Uh, did a little again. Did a little uh, uh, ooh ah moment. There you go. Some very good baked salmon last night that uh, I've made my own own cooking video. Yes, own cooking video. There you go. So uh, right there. We'll debut that on Friday. I think what I'm going to do for that, that'll probably be on the T-Bones channel. I'll give you a Twitter link, and I'll probably put a link to it here on this show on Friday as well. Uh, it looks like the T-Bones actually liked it. I wasn't sure if they would in the kitchen talking food, but apparently it is uh, all, all good. Let's see here. Uh, question, is there money to be made in demonstrating social distancing using charcoal briquettes? Yes. I would say yes. There's money to be made in any social distancing. Distancing, so I would say yes. And I love Kevin's idea about social distancing and the briquettes. Uh, he put that on his Facebook yesterday. Uh, that uh, you know, you want to put them all apart, or in, you, know, you put them all together, big flame, separate them apart, even even grill. I liked his uh, his analogy there. So very good. What else we got here? Uh, Cheryl says. Uh, uh, clean the uh, garage basement, finally unpack boxes from when we moved here nine years ago. Found some treasure we might have thought uh, we lost or forgot we had. Uh, very good, very good. Yes. Uh, anytime you, uh, anytime you uh, discover, it's like it's like we've all done this, right? Have you ever like put your hand in a, in a pocket of a jacket that you've not worn in forever? You find that 10 spot or 20 spot or whatever. It's kind of the same thing, right? You go through those boxes and, wait, I, I had that. I didn't have it all along. I've been looking for this for months. Where is it? And uh, all good. Cheryl, good to see you. Kenny as well. Uh, yeah, my mom, her basement there in Indiana, uh, she has got a, a – in Indiana, very much like much, much of the Midwest, they have basements. It's something that really in Texas we don't have – we have storm cellars, you know, tornado shelters, whatever, in some of the rural areas. But by and large, basements aren't a real big thing here. Very big back in the mid Midwest and the and back east as well, the mid east. And my mom's got a basement, and uh, she's also it's it's a it's a game room, and then an extra bedroom and a little bar area, of course. And then there's an offset area in the back where there's a the basement storage. It'll be there. We call an addict, attic, attic, attic. Attic, attic, here we go. Attic, uh, she's got storage downstairs. So, yeah, mom can probably uh, to jump in there for sure. So, uh, all right, what else is everybody doing? Ryan burnt a uh, burnt little uh, trash there. That's true. Hey, boy, I, I can't tell you, Ryan, how many times as a kid, and, and even at Tech, I go down to my grandparents' house in Seminole, and they lived, thir they lived 13 miles, still family farms, 13 miles out the, of Seminole between Gaines, Gaines County, Tree La Mesa and Seminole and, uh, out in West Texas. And I can't tell you, I mean, it was so weird to me because growing up in the city, you take your trash, rubbish, whatever, you walk to the, to the alley, dump it in the trash can, and the garbage guy comes by, picks it up, and all, all good, right? Well, in, uh, in that neck of the woods, out in the rural West Texas, you actually burn your rubbish. And my granddad had these two big, uh, I think three, at least three, I don't know, two, two or three big old school uh, old gas barrels, those old barrels, you, you know the ones I'm talking about, the, the old rusty uh, industrial sized barrels. And he would burn it. And it was a, it was a black, it, it burned all the time. Of course, he burned every couple of days, but those things have been burnt over the years. They had a black, uh, 
a coating to him for being burnt, and that's where he uh, burnt the rubbish, burnt the trash. So my granddad would have, I thought it was so cool, he'd go out there and stand out there and he'd watch the thing burn and you know, how many crazy, crazy ass uh, prairie fires or farm fires, but he'd sit there and watch the sun, the, the trash burn at sunset, part of his, his existence as a farmer in West Texas. So I, I do get that. Uh, let's see here. Jeff said, good show earlier. Hope you're doing well in Texas, staying safe. Yes, Jeff, appreciate it. Uh, we are staying safe. Uh, as far as a, Again, I told that there's there's W40, there she is right there. Um, as far as the way th things are going here, again, everybody's got an opinion. Everybody's got news stories. If you believe what's being told on, on the media, which I, I sort of do locally, um, they still think we're probably uh, into next week, maybe the week after for our peak here in Dallas. Uh, I know I think Houston's a little bit ahead of us as far as cases. I don't know Austin, how they're doing. San Antonio, maybe a little ahead too, but they're, they're saying they're the 12th and 22nd, depending on where you're at in, in Texas. And then the El Paso, maybe a little bit a little bit more uh, down the line because they are further west. And it kind of, there's it, it depends on where you're at uh, as far as that's concerned. The reason I bring that up, Sonia, good to see you. Amy as well. The reason I bring that up is because uh, I was asked by T Bone, the staff members were mostly, they're all in Kansas City. Uh, either Missouri or Kansas side, and uh, they asked me uh, what was the situation here, and I, and I, I, you know, I which you know interests them and all that, and I, I thought, well, that's what we're telling us. So uh, uh, we're looking at this right now. We got to Kitty, uh, Dallas, Fort Worth, Dallas, Fort Worth, Kansas City, uh, St. Paul, West Tech, Lubbock, or just outside of Lubbock, and uh, all joining us here. All oh, my virtual happy are glad you're along. It. Uh, the plan is just because, and again, this all came from uh, a couple weeks ago when I got back from from holiday. I got back from vacation and uh, had a, a Monday afternoon sportscasters kind of a sportscasters roundtable get together. We were going to just chat about life and sports without our with, with, with the seasons being shut down. What we're, what we're doing as broadcasters to stay busy? And what are you doing to stay busy? Are you working on your craft? What are you doing? What are you not doing? And uh, I came away from that really fired up because it talking to people, I mean, talking to folks and having some interaction and having a little bit of just some social, social uh, contact, whether it be via online or on the phone on Sunday here at the house, we had a great time. My wife uh, and then uh, the, the youngest Caroline and then our girl, our daughter in Lubbock, Joy Ma, and then uh, my in-laws, the West are about a mile, two miles from us. We all had one big virtual family zoom session for, at seven thirty to like nine fifteen, it went like over two hours, almost two hours. So uh, uh, that's just how things are these days. It's fun, right, boy? You're gonna see about my my friend. I hope you and your family are doing well. A young man that uh, is probably growing like a weed, isn't he, bud? Good to see Ryan out there. You're in California. Or you're in the Metroplex. I know you've got a little contact to both. Let's see here. What do we got here? Uh, Danny down in Florida. Dean here in De Texas. Danny's down in Florida. All right, what are you guys doing? What's going on? Tell me something. What are you doing? What did you, what did you do today to pass the time? What is it you did? I already told you that I, I shot a cooking video yesterday. I had all my uh, T-Bones conversations today. I shot a, a noon show, which was one of the worst ones I shot because the audio dropped out because of internet overload, but it's on the uh, T-Bones Facebook page. But I did that and did some work. What have you guys been doing? What did you do? What did you do today? What was the exciting thing you did? I want to know what you're doing. What did you do to pass the time? And uh, let's uh, tell me something. I don't know. Just let's have a chat here. If we're just sitting around the virtual pub here and just chatting a bit, let me see if I got the uh, yeah, the virtual green room. If you want to join me, by the way, it is right up there, and uh, you can join me in the uh, green room. And uh, you can uh, pull this up here. I love it. I've got this little toy that I'm looking at buying, and it's this little push button deal. I just push the buttons it'll change the screens for you so you can be a remote broadcaster and do this without having to do the you know all, all my screen stuff but uh, that's a little bit way uh, where did the parking lot where sushi pick up uh you uh see i i love sushi i, I mean I, and that's the worst part about this whole tornado thing we had in october in dallas is it blew away my favorite sushi place every friday i would go to sushi star which is at royal and uh, preston and here in preston hollow 
And I would go there every Friday, sometimes Wednesday. They had these, you know, the most sushi places is all pretty consistent, right? They, they make a pretty good, makes the roll, but makes them even bigger. And it pretty maybe actually uh, provides sushi to all the restaurants in Dallas. Their uh, their wholesales over with the little restaurants, not so. Uh, let's see what uh, WD40 is doing. She's a uh, where, where did you where did you go? Uh, she is going to join us. Where did you go? Where did you go? Did you go? You were just on the patio. Where'd you do? What, what are you doing? I, I went to see Oops, because for the fiftieth time today. And what? Say it again. What is that? Oh, I'm sorry. I clipped you off. Sorry about that. Let me you try it again. Order an egg right, go ahead. What'd you say? Yes, yes, I did. That's for the the cooking. Yes. Yeah, oh, it's she's nice. having a little trouble. It's gray. It's very simple. Well, they, they had they had color choices, and my choice was you know, you know black. And they had all the color. They had blue, red, purple, you name it. But I thought the gray would be the easiest. A, it wouldn't fade, and B, I mean, you don't want a white one because you might get all kinds of stains on it. The black one is going to fade to gray anyway. So I went with gray. That was my thinking. So uh, yeah, it goes what do you think about kitchen. that? It... it goes with the kitchen. All right. Well, uh, well for, for my cooking demonstration, which you saw that a moment ago, you know, you saw that you saw me, you actually filmed it with me yesterday. I did. I filmed it. I figure I'll need that going forward. As we kick this cooking series off, that's yeah, you did. Uh -oh. At least you're on there. At least you're on there. What? I was gonna say it'll save me on shout and um, OxyClean. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Shout and OxyClean. That'll that'll work. <laughs> uh, this is a WD40 cam right here. Let me pull this down right there. See, this is what I was talking about earlier, and pull that down. And uh, but uh, my lovely wife here, uh, she is uh, had a busy day. You had a busy day today. Anything exciting besides clean up my mess? <laughs> yeah, that was funny. Um, being on a, I've been on calls. I mean, my first ping went off at five twenty a.m. from our oldest, and then went from that to my dad texting me at six twenty. I'm like, who is up texting people at five in the morning? This is ridiculous. And then. Um, got up at eight to get ready for my classes that I had today and then had meetings in between my classes and then tutored at three and then edited a couple of bios. And then, uh, you know, that's about it. Been a busy woman. Been a busy, busy thing. Yeah, so yes, I did. I, screen all day. I hate it. Yeah. I did order that apron because I don't want to get my nice d duds. I figure if I'm going to film a cooking show, I need to at least kind of look like I sort yeah, of have the, the thing down. Either one of us could wear it. That's a really good. And, uh, and my brother, you know, my brother Chris, who lives near Dallas, he's got his whole little. He's got the whole thing. He's got the. He's got the, a chef the, thing. Yeah. He's got the chef shirt. He's got the the, the whole the whole gig. He it, only he does that was a hat. He's got that cool little, you know, the chef shirts. They have the little the buttons jacket. and little little pockets for his uh, his uh, thermometer and spatula or whatever else. I don't got one of those. I just got the generic. No, that that apron that you ordered has pockets in it. Okay, so I'm set. Yeah, no, it's 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 great. I think you're going to get a lot of use out of it. I think so too. And I, I did get a good report of the video from from our friend Morgan and KC. So maybe we'll uh, that'll debut on uh, on Friday on Facebook up there for them because yeah. we I mean uh, t t t cooking with the T bones. I guess I don't know. Yeah. I mean, I guess that's what it's going to be. I mean, I, in fact, you should have cooked a T bone. Dang it. Well, we could do that. Actually, true story, true story. When I got the T-Bones job, uh, which was such a blessing for us, so which was great being close to my mom, but I was still so far from Dallas, and it was harder for Game Marie to get up to see us. Uh, being in Kansas City, we're seven hours away. She can fly, you know, get there really quickly, and we were so blessed to go to KC. And the the, the night we, we got the offer, the Kansas City offer, and the – First night we went out to eat, well, after accepting the offer, what was in the menu, GM? The special that night was a Kansas City T-bone. 
froze up was what? Say it again. Was it what was the special that night? This is true at Neighborhood Services here in uh, in the Hollow. It was uh, it was on the menu that night. We looked at each other saying, "Yeah, we did the right thing." So uh, we uh, we were so blessed yeah. to see, to see uh, Chris, yeah, Chris Brown checks in. He know he, I think Chris knows this story, but that's a true story. Well, the other we were, funny story. We drove down to the other funny story about Kansas City and the Tebos was when Rosemary, soon to be Romano, uh, Ramsey Romano's fiance, was talking about how she and Ramsey are both vegan. And they thought it was really funny that they got a gig with the T-Bones. And then the first game was with the Chicago Hot Dogs. And they were like, oh, my God, this is a vegan nightmare. Every every place we play has to do with meat. It was really funny. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that would that would be a problem. But, hey, you know what? You, you know, you, they loved it. You, yeah, we you, all know they loved it. And yeah, you know, you, you loved it, too. So it let, let it, the, good to see Christy out there, Chris Brown, Mom, everybody. What I love about this, too, is that – not only we get folks from all across North America, and we actually saw, I think Melinda is watching us there in in Perth and Western Australia. Uh, we get viewers from all around and all. Uh, what's what's great about these happy hours that we get? I get folks from uh, from um, from TCA, from uh, the, growing up in in, the, in Dallas, Fort Worth, church friends, uh, both past, present, and current. And uh, uh, was that right? Past, present, current's the same thing, right? Uh, TCA, uh, Texas Tech. You name it. We, we, and then you got all my baseball stops, uh, my Australian mates, my T-Bones family, you know, former people I used to work with in other, in other locations, all that. It's just a, it's a great place to be. And then family, like mom, I mean, as well. So uh, 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 mom says she got her first uh, breaking news today as mom had uh, – What do you, by the way, you, you got something going on, GM, so I can let, let you yeah. know what's going on. Okay. All right. I'm going to put you down for just a moment here. Okay. And I want to bring the uh, screen back and put her on mute for. That is, and I'll get, you know, I'll get the logo for you guys so you can see the logo, just so you guys that aren't aware of what I do for a, uh, a living. Let me go and show it to you. This is the logo there on the right corner. Uh, that's the Kansas City Tebow logo, and we, we have some Tebow folks watch one of them. Uh, she watched the Steakhouse our show I do on Wednesdays during the off season on Facebook Live, but uh, we're a, a baseball team, minor league team, located in Kansas City. Oh, about 20 minutes from downtown KC, Missouri. Uh, we're right there with the Speedway, uh, Canada Speedway, uh, the Legends Mall area, also the uh, casinos out there, uh, off 435, and uh, out, uh, out in that uh, western, maybe 20 minutes from downtown Kansas City, 30 minutes from Lawrence. We're, we're right in a really, really good crossroads location. Uh, I-70 is right around the corner from us going east and west. So it's a real good location. We're the American Association, and that, uh, that goes from Winnipeg, Manitoba, all the way down to Cleburne, Texas, and uh, we play the Cleburne Railroad and Prairie Air Hogs, both those two teams in the North Metroplex that we play. We play the Lincoln Salt Dogs, they're division bunkmates of ours, Sioux City Explorers, Sioux Falls Canaries, one in Iowa and in South Dakota, uh, Fargo Moorhead, uh, the Red Hawks in Fargo, uh, St. Paul Saints in the Twin Cities, Winnipeg Gold Eyes in uh, Winnipeg, Manitoba, and then two teams in the Chicago area, uh, one the Chicago Airport, and the, the Gary South Shore Railcats, where I spent six years, or parts of six years, they're in the southern suburbs of Chicagoland on the Indiana side. So uh, uh, that's the association. Great baseball. It's the highest level of independent ball. Uh, a lot of former big leaguers, uh, guys that have been the show, a lot of prospects. Uh, we the, the goal for our ball club is to win and also to get the players back to chase their major league dreams. And in the stands, we call our, our it's called bona fide fun. Let's uh, – I can show you that real quick. Let's uh, there we go. Bonafide fun. There you go. Bonafide fun right there. There it is. Free plug with the Kansas City T-Bones. Bonafide fun at 913-328-5618. Bonafide fun and the Kansas City T-Bones right there. There you go. So that is the logo and that is the T-Bone love. So just in case when I say T-Bones, you guys are like, well, what is he talking about? That's what I'm talking about. That's that's my job year-round. I'm on call year-round and during the baseball season. Um, 
But yes, we're talking the T-Bones. And Jeff went out in the ballpark today and saw the new field project. We're putting a new infield. Now, you guys know, if you're into sports, there's several things you've got to have for a baseball team. And the, the probably the first and foremost you got to have, besides seats, is a good field. And you've got to have a good surface. And that's what we're working on to put a uh, – just improving our surface and replacing our old infield with a new infield. And Jeff went out there today, got out of the house, and saw that new project as well. Dean was waiting uh, the parking lot for sushi to pick up. Mentioned that. And let's see here. Cheryl also pulled some weeds in the garden and watched Hallmark movie that Megan Mar – oh, Megan Markle was in. Okay, yeah. They're a they're a big uh, big now in the states because she and the she and the prince are living in in Hollywood, right? Is that where they're at now? I think they're in Hollywood in here. All right, and let's see what else we got going on here. Going down here, business usual up here for me as long as governor. Oh, <laughs> here we go. Business usual up here for, for, for Kevin at the Twin Cities. As long as the governor uh, keeps the liquor stores open, he has no downtime. I think you're. I've come to realize in all these things, there's certain recession proof and uh, uh, things. One is the liquor business. I think you're probably okay. I think, but uh, I, I'm thinking. And of course, like we, I saw Jack Daniels making hand sanitizer, so I guess, I guess that's all good. Oh, and Cheryl said, "There we go. She watched the steakhouse today. Thank you, Cheryl, for that. Oh, the sound was just terrible. Uh, yeah, I got it. Yeah, there you go, <laughs> Kevin." Kevin got up an apron, dressed for the job you want, so not the one you have. There you go. There you go. Yes. Well, what happens, what happens if the T-Bones do some kind of BBQ school, a barbecue? His first board meeting on Zoom uh, went well. Hey, that's good to see, Mom. Yeah, Zoom. Uh, stocks you probably want. Six months ago, Zoom would be one of them, I would think. Uh, the other one might be Netflix. Uh, any kind of takeout delivery probably was be pretty beneficial. Uh, airline stocks would be one, but that's not the case. There he is. Big E, how you doing, bud? How you doing, my friend? Eric is a, a longtime mate of mine. Good to see him out there. Let's see who else is out there. Uh, from Las Vegas, Clinton from Las Vegas. Keep up, hey, mate. Good to see you. This thing did kind of cancel my Las Vegas trip to, you know, I was going to go out there at some point in the spring and you know, Clinton and I were going to take, take over the town, but rain check, my friend. I'll wait till the fall when, when the NFL gets going, right? How about that? Good to see him there. Clinton, uh, his, his son, uh, Alex Crosby, is a baseball player, professional ball player in our league with the Gary South Shirelle Cats, one of my favorite, favorite families and favorite people in the world. Uh, what's, what's DB cooking for dinner tonight? I don't know. I saw the, uh, turkey was being thawed, the ground turkey on the, on the, on the counter. So I'm assuming we're doing, we're going to probably be easy tonight and do, uh, some kind of veggie pasta tonight. I would think because I had, I had way too much breakfast this morning. So, uh, here you go. Matt Fain saying, uh, uh broadcasting live in Dallas, Texas. Oh, yes. It's the Texas embassy of the T-Bones. It's also the, the Perth heat in Australia. In baseball league embassy as well. It's uh, also in, the, in that there as well. There you go. Good stuff there. Yeah, Miss Vegas. Uh, Jeff says Miss Vegas. Is that weird? Have you guys seen those? Have you guys seen those pictures from Vegas? I, I mean, it, it's. I've been there so many times over the years. I started going back in 1988, something like that. And, and I've never. I mean. Maybe in a movie, maybe. I can't even think of a movie where it wasn't like that. They may have controlled traffic for a movie, but, I mean, the, the haunting, the pictures are haunting. It, it, it's very apoc apocalyptic. You look at the pictures of Vegas, I mean, there's no, no cars in the street, no, no nobody. Very odd to see Vegas like that. I mean, and I guess New York as well, uh, watching the news and seeing the, there's no one in Times Square. It's, it's very, very, I mean, very rare. We were in Times Square this, you know, last year, last March, two years in a row, and you know, that's just a crossroads of the world. There's so many people there, and it, it's just so weird. It, it, we, it, it's even weird here in Dallas, seeing the, the cars, you know, not in downtown. But to me, the Vegas shots and the New York City shots are really, really odd. I mean, that's a real unsettling picture. If you guys have seen those, very unsettling. Let's see here. What else we got here? What am I cooking? Uh, 
Uh, oh, yeah, Ryan's the time to get going to work. See you tomorrow. Keep growing. Happy hour. Uh, lots of fun. Your wife, a ch- yeah, get your wife a chance to hear stories about you that she only knows. No, only knew, yes. Yes, give my wife a chance to see those stories if she only knew, right? Yeah. By the way, Ryan, I always give Ryan a plug. Ryan Hyatt Media on Twitter. If you're a Big 12 fan, a Texas Tech fan, a, a state of Texas fan, a Texana, a, you just like sports in general, just kind of a, maybe you want to find out what, what, what's going on in, in West Texas. People, people actually live in West Texas. It's actually a very thriving, awesome place to live. Uh, Ryan can keep you up to date on those items on his show. He also has a show from 11, I believe, to noon on a local station there in, in, in Lubbock. But uh, Ryan does great work. Ryan Hyatt, H-Y-A-T-T Media at Twitter. You can find that uh, show right there. And it's also archived for you as well. And, uh, yeah, uh, Ryan, uh, my mom tried to warn her. So, uh, yes. Yeah, yeah. Jeff chiming in saying, uh, Ghost Town, sad to see. It is. It is very much so. Uh, if you'd like to join the, the, the show – I got a spot or two open. Let's see what the, the staging area looks like, because I believe uh, we'll double check right now. We'll show you how easy it is. Well, she actually she actually checked out, but uh, there is the uh, there's patio cam right there. Patio cam. There we go. The wife was watching, but there we go. Patio cam right there. By the way, a little windy this afternoon. Even though it was 90 degrees earlier, uh, actually the thermometer on the wall says it said 120 earlier, but. It was in the sun on the concrete, but I don't think it was 120. But I uh, looked up this afternoon, and our patio furniture blew around. So uh, there you go, the live live look there. Oh, she's back. Let's see. She's back now. Check in. with see what, what W40 is doing back here. Now, uh, where, I don't know where she went, but she went somewhere. Uh, where did you go, Bueller? Where did you go? I, I went you go? to walk the dog. Oh, you're walking the dog. So we got a lot. This is walk the dog cam. Okay, this is one of the things we talked about. I was hoping for a, a walk the dog cam. Yeah, it's I do walk, walk the dog. The dog. Right, here we go. It's walk the dog cam with the wife. She is. Uh, there we go. Walk the dog cam. There he is, Max. Uh, he is. Uh, anybody out in the streets, babe? Anybody out about today? Not really. It's funny. Yeah. The um, there are some bikes just went by, and of course, you know how he loves the bikes. Um, so no, I mean, yeah, there are people out, but fortunately they're at least a hundred yards away, so he can't go at them, but it's nice. And there's a huge yeah. thing. A car. Is that, what is that thing? That, that one of them horseless carriages? Be driving. Yeah. It's funny. He's like, that's a whole carriage the there. I walk across <laughs> streets like nobody lives here. It's just really bizarre. You know, it makes me a little nervous because I'm afraid somebody's not going to be paying attention one day and I'm going to walk across that street on our morning walk and get shillelagh. So I'm, I'm really nervous about no traffic. That would not be good for business. Usually about this time of day, it's a little busier. So. Oh, no. Here we go. Oh, there, you found a squirrel or another dog? Oh, another dog. <laughs> yep. That's live dog cam. Walk the dog cam. There we go. Live. <laughs> the Vaughn household here in Dallas is the wife is walking Max the dog. You can't, you can't get this programming anywhere. Okay. I'll teach you how to cook soup. Cook salmon. I'll tell you stories about the go along and uh, all good. So uh, very, very good job, my love. I will let uh, you go back to walking the dog. And uh, I will good. check in with you in a bit later, okay? We'll okay. see you at dinner time, all right? Yes. There we go. That's the lovely wife. Debbie, Debbie a lovely and talented wife. Uh, every broadcaster, every man needs to have someone as great as she in, our li- in my life or in your life. You know what I'm saying, right? You guys know what I mean, right? Everybody needs somebody like that. Uh, you want to join me again? Uh, the green room is open. There it is right there. Love to have you on wherever you're about out. Just tell me what's going on. Just jump on, chat a bit, whatever. It's virtual happy hour. I got about uh, – went a little late today, so I'm looking at about another 15 minutes, maybe 10, something like that, uh, just to chat and uh, grow this thing. Again, it's it's fun because I've got – again, I've seen people check in from all walks of life of, of mine. And, and the journey we live, this journey we call life, right, begins at an early age and we cruise along, hopefully live into our, our in a long, long life. And we meet a lot of great people on the way. 
what, what, one thing I've talked about this whole Facebook thing and this whole social media, it's great to pluck those memories and those people on the way. I can pick them up like a, like a, like a friend flower. You, you plant them in this Facebook virtual garden and you've got this garden of, of people that you've met and that have impacted your life that you've, you've, uh, you've shared joys with, maybe heartaches with, can be family members as well. But that, that virtual garden of life you've got and Facebook, there's a lot of bad with Facebook. Don't get me wrong. I, I don't want to talk politics. I don't, I don't care what, who, what party you voted for. I got my opinions, but it doesn't do me much good. Um, we all have them. But what's great about this is you got all these different places you stopped in your journey in life. And you've got, along the way, you've got, uh, I've got all you folks here. I got some that I've, uh, some I went through initiation with, some that I, I, I've worked with, some I've worked with other places, some I've just met on vacation, uh, some I met at, at the local pub, whatever. I mean, so, uh, some I've worshiped with. And a lot of I, some I've grown up with. You've all kinds of of uh, those those memories, those virtual flowers of life along the way, and it plants in this Facebook garden. I love it. I love the fact we can all kind of bring that together. So that's my kind of my my two cents worth there. One cent, two cent. Here comes the cat. She's going to join us out here. Uh, let's see here. Connie Hansen saying, uh, "Hey, Danny. Hey, good to see Connie. She's up in Indiana today." Uh, my wife says, by the way, Ryan, she already uh, already knew the story. So uh, I pretty much told her most of the good ones. Oh, yeah, Ver uh, Cat Cam. How about Cat Cam? Let's see if we can get the cat in there. Can we get, can we her, get her? Put this. this uh, uh, oh, she's, she's right, right there. there. She, she is. is. Right up. Up. Let's Let's move, move the cat, cat, cat graphic, graphic off. off. There, there, there we go. go. There she is. She's, she's right up in the SMU. SMU. Uh, see the SMU flag right there in the middle of the screen? That's her. Right there. She's kind of kicking it. She's, we got this little little grassy patch out here. She loves it. She loves to eat the grass. Only problem is she'll eat the grass, sniff around, and inevitably, at some point in the next half hour, that grass will wind up on our hardwood floor in the kitchen under the old cat puke. That's what's going to happen. But she'll do. But she loves being out here. So the kitty's outside enjoying the afternoon here in Dallas in the early evening. Some kitty cam right there, but uh, she's a piece of work that one, I'll tell you. She is it's funny because cats are not my were not my thing in general, but uh, she's great. I mean she is almost almost too great. Uh, think could you uh Debbie Forty could you our kiddo checked in. Oh who? Which one? Oh there we go. Yeah. Hey okay Hey, Joy Wall, what are you doing? Hello, good to see you. Hello. Rick him. She's doing her, her graduation. Oh, she's showing off her graduation ring, too. Oh, nice. That's really cool. Good to see her out there in Lubbock. What do you need? Uh, beer? Yeah, so the beer would be great as we wrap this thing up. Uh, Mike Martin saying, missing the beginning. This is a sports, a sports deal. I, I, I wish Jeff Stanley was here. Jeff was uh, on last week a couple of times. Uh, but Mike brings up uh, the whole NHL playoffs, which will be going on right now, usually. I saw a very interesting uh, bit about the hockey perhaps coming back and playing up in uh, North Dakota. And a couple of folks I saw on Facebook were like, why North Dakota? But And I, I know Kevin Luco knows this, but that's a big hockey hotbed, North Dakota, South Dakota, obviously the Twin Cities, uh, Manitoba, if you're a Stars fan here in Dallas, a uh, third of the team, I think, is from Winnipeg, right? And uh, you know, Canada, obviously, the, the it, it's their first sport. But where they're looking at going, I believe it's Bismarck, I believe, is the town they're talking about going, which is uh, between Fargo, well, yeah, between Fargo and the Winnipeg, and Winnipeg, Manitoba, somewhere like that. I guess Fargo's like four hours from Winnipeg. I think uh, Bismarck's maybe two hours up the road, and then it's another two hours and change to Winnipeg, something like that. But straight up uh, into uh, Manitoba, right through the uh, the northern fringe of our country. But uh, that's a very big uh, hockey area. It's a, a, the North Dakota, I believe the Fighting Sioux, they're called, a top-ranked uh, collegiate hockey program. They draw a lot of fans from from uh, from their Manitoba who come down do some shopping in the U.S. On the U.S. dollar, you know, the better exchange rate, and they will go back to Canada. They've also got junior teams that are playing there. So it's not surprising. That's a very nice arena there. There's also a very good arena there in Fargo. Uh, two really good arenas. Uh, good, good arenas. I mean, they're, they're decent enough you could play. Uh, the, the NHL could play there, and they're, they're definitely for hockey. So, uh, again, it, it, 
it's a little crazy of an idea, but if you if you follow hockey, you would know that I mean, not so much hockey. Maybe I follow hockey. I didn't realize that North Dakota was such a big uh, collegiate and even minor league hockey as well up there. So, uh, uh, yeah, it's amazing when something that isn't your thing becomes your thing when you're with the right. Yes, that's true. That's very true. It's something how, yeah. Uh, a, a case in point, Connie, my lovely wife, because uh, she was a football gal. I mean, she is a football gal all the way. And um, she now likes baseball, too, and loves the T-Bone. So uh, all good there. All good, all good. Let's see what we also got here. Da -da -da. Check it out. What else we have? You want to join me? Uh, anybody out there want to jump on real quick? Uh, you can do that as you can go to that link right there, that V Live TV link. It'll walk you right through it, and we will uh, put you in the green room and bring you on the show. And usually, basically, this it's about, about a two beer show, really. One down, one more to go. How about that? But I would love to have you. I want to just tell you what you're doing, what's going on. Oh, here comes the cat. There she is. There she is. There we go. There, we go. there, she, there is. she is. Hey, Kitty. Hey, Kitty. What's, going, what's on? going on? You're making your you're worldwide, making your worldwide uh, uh, Facebook, live, Facebook debut. live debut. She looks very she unenthused. Looks very unenthused. What are you doing? What are you doing? She's probably looking for an escape. Probably looking for an escape. Climbing the fence and all Climbing the fence and all right there. She is. There she is. There we go. There we go. Oh, oh. What beer? What beer is drinking? Yes, yes. Coors Light. Coors Light. Coors Light. Coors Light. Coors Light. Spring Mall graduated early from Texas Tech. We're so proud of her. She's awesome, and she is a hardworking kiddo, and is making us proud. She is. I got to brag on her a little bit. Got a full ride to go to grad school at Tech. And she's going to be in grad school and also teaching in the English department next fall. So she'll be teaching some knucklehead like me who is in freshman English. And believe me, I was a freshman one time, and I was a complete knucklehead. So I can only imagine what kind of kids she's going to be dealing with. There'll be, there'll be a me there somewhere. Uh, Kevin says Grand Forks. Uh, as Grand, did I say Bismarck? I meant Grand Forks. Bismarck's west, right? Is that, am I right about that? Or is it, wait, when I get it? No, that's right. No, Bismarck is. I'm right. Okay, you're talking about Grand, Grand uh, Forks is also home of the most obnoxious uh, hockey fans around. It'd be the logistical nightmare to find lodging things in Grand Forks. Yeah, that's kind of what uh, what, what I've heard, um, the same thing. But I, again, uh, it was interesting because, again, some couple of people are going, why North Dakota? And I didn't have any clue about this either. I, I don't know much about college hockey. We we don't have college hockey in Texas. And, and I, did, I didn't grow up with it. We got it in 93. When the Stars came to the Metroplex, sorry about that, Kev. But uh, but I, having been up and down the, the American Association, we play in Winnipeg, and we also play in, in, in Sioux Falls and Fargo. So I knew that there was huge hockey up and down that stretch. And there's even a minor league team in uh, Winnipeg as well that plays the same time the Jets do. So, but yes, uh, the one thing I'll say about all that whole uh, Major League Baseball hockey, what are they going to do? Um, I think we're not to that point yet. I, I know they want to get there. I know the government wants to have an economy going and all that, but I, I just don't know that that's a feasible plan to put everybody in one spot and it, you get one person that gets sick or whatever and the whole league shuts down. I think logistically, logistically it's a nightmare regardless if it's in Phoenix or hockey playing in, in, in North Dakota. Um, that's just my take. I think we'll play, we will play our games again. We, we, our games will have a place for us again. They will. But I think logistically it's, it's going to be tough. And uh, yeah, I, I just don't know if that's where we're, that, where we're at yet. But, again, I, you know, I do know that the Korean Baseball League is playing spring games now. Um, I do have a dear friend of mine, Warwick Sopold, who's playing over there right now. Um, he's back, and they trained in, in the States, then left and went to Australia and trained for a while. Uh, they're playing, but but the Korean Baseball League is, is already said, and they get one. It doesn't matter who it is, cameraman, trainer, right fielder, test positive, they're shutting the league down. So uh, that's a lot of pressure. I just don't know if we're there yet. I think we will be. Joy Moss is too. Yeah, can't wait to have me in class. Yes, I'll take that class. 
taking that class. Hey, Tom, what's up, bud? How you doing today, buddy? What are you up to, man? What's going on? Like a good, uh, good, good Wednesday. Glad to see you along, Tom, out there. Uh, let's see here. And uh, uh, up, 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 up. Let's see here. Uh, uh, I can't go for the Dallas fans. If you know who Norm Green is, you don't have college hockey in Texas because Norm Green, Norm Green can't relocate a college team. Although, this is the Norm Green legacy that's part of the good thing. And it really, it's not so much Norm Green as it was uh, Tom Hicks. Tom Hicks bought, Tom Hicks was the owner of the Stars once, once Norm Green bought, brought them here, I think after year two. Hicks eventually went bankrupt and rolled the Rangers and the Stars, did go bankrupt. But what the Stars did in that 90s stretch from, say, 94 to 2004, five, somewhere in there, is they grew the game here. They grew hockey in Dallas-Fort Worth. And the way they did it was they set up regional uh, area hockey centers. They had their training center in Frisco. They'd open up in North, North Richland Hills. They opened one up over in Fort Worth. And these little centers were, were, were hockey-centric rinks for uh, youth women. For, for uh, the stars that would move their practices around there for youth leagues, for minor league teams, for whoever, just to, to, whoever to work on, learn to learn the game of hockey. And that's how hockey grew from being a back, really not even a known sport in this market to one where they now have hockey leagues, high school hockey. And they've actually got some text, some young Texans playing division one and in the NHL. That's something that I would have never, I, did, I grew up just 10 years before playing, you know, American football and, and, and baseball and soccer. And I never would have thought that hockey would ever be a big sport. It was a, it was a minor league sport at best down here, but they did a great job of growing the game via, you know, grassroots level. So uh, <clears throat> very good stuff there. All right, let's see what else we got here. Again, coming up on this weekend, <clears throat> oh, excuse me, on Friday's show, I will preview the, uh, hey, I'm going to bring the TikTok video that the T-Bone shot, which I want to show you guys that. That's really cool. Morgan Kalinda did a great job with that. I'll also give you guys the world premiere of a small of my demonstration, the T-Bone's page as well on Friday. So that's all coming to you on Friday. Uh, Friday will also grab the top wheel, we'll, uh, top of, we'll top of jar, which is right here. So go in there. I, I have a feeling because I've noticed this week the NFL, Atlanta and Tampa, seeing Tom Brady in a Tampa Bay pewter helmet. Remember the pewter humor, uh, the pewter Hummer color. Remember that when Hummer had the pewter color and it was the big rage. That's what those helmets look like. And Tom Brady, one of those. It's gonna be odd, but uh, uh, let's see. Without uh, here you go, Kevin says without uh, Norm Green, some Tom Hicks. Yeah, yeah, you're right. You're, you're right. That that. Uh, Hicks had a really good run there for stretch where he did things the right way. He's a, he was a good owner. He brought his people in. He, he let them do their thing and he didn't, uh, you know, meddle too much. And there's two kinds of owners you got in this market. Anyway, you got Jerry Jones and Mark Cuban, and they, and they both love their brand. And then you also have what the Rangers have had over the last few years. You, of course, uh, uh, Hicks owned the Rangers at one time, uh, George Bush, Two's family or the not family, but ownership group for a while there. Now the current ownership group that owns the Rangers, they're, they're more behind the scenes. They're not out in front making a lot of uh, noise. And this is what they don't do. But you have, you have four major teams here. Actually the fifth, when I count, you, you got to count FC Dallas. The Hunt family owns that. The Hunts who own the Chiefs also own FC Dallas. And, uh, and they're, they're behind the scenes folks, but you've got two probably of all sport. If you would say who are the, who are the most out, Going owners hands on in all sport in North America, you'd say Mark Cuban and Jerry Jones. And Jerry Jones was the first thing to come to mind. And then, you know, Al Davis is no longer with us, and the Steinbrenners are no longer with us as well. Or Steinbrenner no longer with us either. But you'd see those two. And then you also have two that, uh, you know, I, you know, Tom Gugliardi already owns the Stars, and I couldn't pick him out of a police lineup. I think he probably likes it that way. You know, so uh, anyway, a little, little, little Metroplex. Uh, uh, Mike Martin says, no, they lose the Devils. <laughs> no, they lose, they lose a couple of Devils. Yeah, there you go. That's true. 
True. Yeah, that was a – they lost that cup. That was a weird, weird series, Mike. The, you know, the previous year they won against Buffalo. But that series here, when they got the final, the Stanley Cup finals, it was about – it was unseasonably warm that summer. And usually, you know, it's not uncommon in Dallas for work to, you know, have triple digits for 30, 40 days in a row. But that June – it was unseasonably warmer in that June. It was 100 degrees already in June, in June when that uh, series rolled around. I remember being so friggin' hot in, the, in that arena that it was actually – they were worried about the, the, the condensation on that ice. And they had to really work that ice over and had to turn the – they had to bring extra AC units in to keep that building as cold as they could. They brought these auxiliary – big, huge auxiliary air conditioning units in to keep the arena cold. It was amazing. Amazing. Uh, Craig out there. Good to see Craig out there. Uh, Connie says she loves Mark Cuban. He's an IU guy. And uh, yeah, everybody loves Mark. I, 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 I'm not a Mavericks fan. Uh, I think most people know this. I am a San Antonio Spurs fan and big one. But uh, I do respect Mark Cuban. I think he's a great guy. I love what he does for the city here. Uh, let's see here. Yes, uh, Kevin, I'm asking you, Fraud, to jump in and show us what you're grilling, okay? You let me know when I go on the air, and I'll make sure I'll make it happen. We'll get you on grilling on Friday. If we're going to debut my my cooking segment, we might as well uh, debut you grilling. That's what we'll do. I'm going to try to cut down the little the little bits and pieces of highlights, but uh, kind of tease the uh, T bones uh, cooking with the T bones. I guess we'll call it. So, uh, all right there. So yes, let's do that. Uh, Going to see Chomps out there as well. Good mate of mine. I worked with the Garys in, in, in Mississippi. And boy, we've had them all the, all over the place. One more shot of patio, patio cam. cam there. There we, we go. go. Friday show, same time, same place. Should be right on time Friday too, all right? So uh, we'll do it Friday. I'm going to get the topic jar out, and we will uh, catch up with the cooking and talk about that a bit. Uh, bring the TikTok video out as well, the T-bone shot, which is a really great work. I love it. And who knows what will come up for you now and then. Most importantly, let's chat with you guys. We'll – Walk the dog. We'll have a cold one, a, whatever beverage you want to have. We'll just chat like a bunch of mates do and have a good of a chat and, uh, and just do a little, uh, as we say in Australia, a little good on your time, all right? Do that. And let's just check in to see. Uh, uh, Kitty is out here. Oh, she's out in the sun. Yeah, let me give you a shot of that. Yeah, let me show you my wife where the cat is. No, so she'll know. She is. She is. Oops, oops. Right, to, right. To, oh, she's running inside. Oh, she's running inside. Anyway, oh, anyway, she's running inside. inside. You got it. Okay. Got it? okay. She didn't she escape because the, the cat does, does have this thing. Not so much on a hot day like today, but she will climb the fence and go to our neighbor Gloria's backyard, and then she'll come back really pissed off later and be whinging at the door, just going on and on and wanting to get inside. And we're like, well, you shouldn't have gone out in the first place. So you know, you know, cats are they have their own unique personality. All right. Uh, yeah, uh, Mike, crazy home ice that year. If you're, yes, it was crazy. It was crazy home ice. Yeah, that was a uh, – the Stars won, I believe, two up in New Jersey, and I think New Jersey went two down here or something like that. It was a really weird, weird deal. I remember that being – I went to – I believe it would have been game one here, and they got it handed to them by my New Jersey bad. I mean, I got – I, I want to – to that game, I want to say it was like a five-one, four-one game, and it was over. It was it was three nothing after two. I mean, something like that. I mean, it was really dominating as well. Uh, Connie says, uh, "See you Friday night in GM. So refreshing these dark times. Thanks for helping us keep uh, keep insane. Keep us sane. Insane would be over at uh, Fog River Court, where Mom is. And I'm kidding. Love you, Mom. I love you, Connie. Good for checking in. I appreciate you joining us." Here is, uh, again, the idea is just at first I'll have a chat and just to uh, catch up and uh, see what's going on. I know a lot of you folks are, uh, are in the same same boat together. But like I said, what I love about there, there are a lot of things I hate about social media. And everybody's got an opinion. We can all hide behind our, our, our profile pics. But what I love about this is how I can bring those different places and stops along life away and bring them to this virtual Facebook uh, garden and, uh, and, and share them all together. And all of us kind of be one big happy family, whether we're watching in Australia or watching in uh, Winnipeg, Canada, or wherever, all points in between. Just glad you're all along. Hope you're all doing well. Keep doing what you got to do. Wash those hands. Uh, you practice that so safe social distancing as 
as Kevin says, you know, make the, the, the briquettes on the grill six inches apart. You'll be fine. And uh, let's just keep uh, keep the faith. Uh, I'm a praying person and believe that that also helps. So please, if you're one of those that does that, fire them away. Fire those extra prayers away for our for our folks in the, in the line, out in first responders, uh, folks like my, my sister, for example. There she is. I'll show this picture to you guys on Monday, but she's a warrior out there. She is, she's battling and out there and uh, has two young children at home. And she's out there working long hours in Denver trying to uh, fight this thing on the front lines and thoughts and prayers for her. And if you've got family members uh, that are being affected by this or in this and all this just for, for all you guys. So wishing you guys all the best. Okay. So again, we will, uh, uh, we will do this again. Um, what's this say next time? Uh, yeah, you know what? The echo, it was, it was bad echo. You know why? Because I did not, uh, usually what I do, Mike, as I do to the, uh, it's weird because this, this fancy camera, this patio cam, it has a mic as well. And I, I usually mute it and I just didn't mute it that time. I usually do, but I didn't. And then my bad on that one. But, uh, that's what I was saying earlier. There's this little, there's a stream deck uh, called it's uh, the Elgato stream deck. It's a little box about yay big. It's got anywhere between 16 or you order a 32 button uh, little board. All you do is punch the button. I can just sit here and punch the button without being removing. That'd be one thing I can punch with the audio on and off and something to work for, look forward to, right? So uh, all good. Again, thank you all for joining us today. Uh, did great. Again, on, we'll go to the topic jar. We'll do a little cooking. We'll catch up, and we'll just have a nice beverage and enjoy each other's company on a Friday. Friday's always fun, right? It's because it's the last day of the week, of the virtual week, right? So wherever you're at, wherever you are, I hope you're doing well. And again, blessings to all of you, prayers, and we will see you guys on Friday. Sorry, Friday right here on my virtual happy hour. So let's uh, pull me uh, – let's go ahead and just pull the uh, happy hour. Let's do that, and let's go ahead and – I got a new one for you guys. Here we go. Let's go ahead and put the closed sign up. How about that? And I will shut things down for tonight and see you guys on Friday. Have a great night, everybody. And by the way, uh, Tiger King, I'm, I think I'm over it now. So if you want to get, you want, you want to, you want to jump back into that again, I, 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 I will tell you to do it, but trust me, you will need a shower afterwards. Okay. Trust me. All right. Have a great one, everybody. We'll see you guys on Friday and enjoy whatever it is you're binge watching.